signing you. Anything for our star driver. Here we go, Ackerman's going for it! Down the inside of the hairpin! Oh, this can't work! Takes a brave man to admit he can't compete anymore. Sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. You want respect, you give respect! That's how it works! There you have it, folks. F1 2021 has officially been revealed, and we have quite a bit of information to get through, as well as some renders of the new cars, which is going to be pretty fantastic. So before we get started with that, I just want to mention that uh, if you want to save 10% if you're pre-ordering on PC, you can use the link in the description and use the discount code COWTOWN10, and you'll be saving yourself 10% off of your pre-order of F1 2021. How awesome is that? Just thought I'd mention that in the beginning, and then, of course, that information's all in the description for you to go further with that. So without further ado, let's dive on into what is new and everything else coming to F1 2021. So we got a new story mode called Breaking Point. Go on an epic journey with Breaking Point, our brand new story mode. Rise from the ranks of Formula 2 to a shot at stardom in the world of Formula 1. Experience the lifestyle both on and off the track as you take your seat in the pinnacle of motorsport. That's not all. After his infamous debut in F1 2019, Devin Butler is back. We'll have plenty more to reveal about him and our brand new story mode, Breaking Point, in the coming weeks. This one's exciting here. We got two-player career. We're also excited to reveal a feature you've requested for a long time. The ability to play career with your friends, either cooperatively or competitively. As each player will have complete control over the assists, you'll be able to enjoy the game whether you're a veteran or a newcomer to the series. That's awesome. So you can play through the entire career with a friend or brother, in my case. That'd be pretty good, you know? We'll see. Uh, Real Season Start, F1 2021's Real Season Start feature lets you jump into the season's action reflecting the live standings, and then you could take over and drive the remaining races. Great for players who want to jump into the season to align with the real world season. Very nice. So it'll just kind of fast forward you to wherever it is in real life. Next Gen Experience for the first time, F1 2021, is coming to the Xbox Series X and Series S and the PlayStation 5 with visual uplift and faster loading times alongside PS4, Xbox One, and PC via Steam. And if you're planning to upgrade, we're happy to tell you that the F1 2021 will support Xbox Smart Delivery and PlayStation's free upgrade if you're switching to a Series X, S, or PlayStation 5. Very nice. It's always a good thing to have. And what's returning to F1 2021 features you know and love from 2020, such as my team, two-player split-screen, shorter seasons, accessible options, and F2 aren't going anywhere. We're also expanding and refining many other features, including scalable assist options, driver stats, and multiplayer. And like I said earlier, you can now pre-order Cowtown 10 using the link below. You can save, for, save 10%. I'm so excited I can't even talk about it correctly. So you have that going for you. Uh, so if you're excited for the 2021 season of this, you could pre-order right now. You'll get the Breaking Point content pack, a set of exclusive in-game items inspired by the new story experiences, fictional stars, and 5,000 pit coins. Our digital deluxe edition includes seven soon-to-be-unveiled classic F1 drivers for my team, three days early access, extra customization content, 18,000 pit coins, and Breaking Point content pack. We'll also be adding three new circuits, Paramau, Amola, or Imola, not Amola, just cut that out, let's restart that. We'll also be adding three new circuits, Paramau, Imola, and Jetta, 
which will be available to all players as free post-launch content. And the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm sure, is the car renders. I'm excited. I have all but two teams, Ferrari and Mercedes are not in this currently. I'm sure we'll see that closer to launch, but we will look through all the other teams. Here we have Gasly's Alpha Tower, which is looking cool. I'm really excited to see some gameplay, since obviously there was no gameplay shown. It was just kind of a teaser for the story mode, but I'm very excited for that. Uh, we have Alonzo's Alpine, which... I still absolutely love this livery. It is fantastic. Really nice. I might have to switch to them for this year's game. Because we were with McLaren last season. So, uh, let's see. We got Stroll's Aston Martin. And some of these are labeled as marketing, so... But it doesn't look any different. Looks exactly the same <laughs> between Vettels and Strolls. So I'll just keep going with the ones I'm clicking. Uh, we got Schumacher's Haas. Uh, McLaren, let's do Ricardo's. Very nice. Perez's Red Bull. Which Red Bull? I mean, they didn't, they didn't really do too much with theirs. I mean, most teams didn't do too... I mean, Red Bull really didn't do much <laughs> different with their livery. But, um, we got Raikkonen's lovely Alfa Romeo. And then, last but not least, let's do Russell's Williams. Which I like their change. I like the color choices. Kind of a nice swap from what they had last season. But there we are. We have all but Ferrari and Mercedes renderings. But I'm sure those will be popping in pretty shortly, so I'm not too worried about it. I mean, we still have a couple months before the release of the game anyways, so we got a little bit to go. But with that being said, that is basically all I got. We'll just kind of back out of this and that actually looks really cool. Don't mind all the <laughs> Aston Martins. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed taking a look at all the information announced today for F1 2021. Very very excited to get into this, especially with all the new features. Maybe we'll even get the brother into F1 this year, since we have that new cooperative mode, which is going to be really cool to see what that's all about. And of course, just seeing what this game's going to be looking like on the Series X. I'm very excited for that as well. So with that being said, again, if you're interested in pre-ordering on the PC, use the discount code COWTOWN10 with the link below, and you will save 10% off of your purchase on either edition of the game, which is really cool. So, uh, other than that, we'll be back once more information is revealed. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time. See ya.